Now I'd like to invite the captain and alternate captain of your Vancouver Canucks, Henrik and Daniel Sedin, along with former teammate Matthias Olin. Your gloves. Thanks, Jordi. The three of us all had the privilege of getting to know, learn from, and become friends with only three players in Canuck history to have their numbers retired. Marcus, you're joining a very good company tonight alongside our friends Stan and Trevor. As young players growing up in Sweden, you were someone we really looked up to. Your skill and the way you carried yourself on and off the ice was something we really admired. Well, yeah. When we all came over to North America to begin our NHL careers, you immediately made us feel comfortable and helped us with the transition to our new life in Vancouver. You help make Vancouver our home. Thank you. Over the years, you did this for all the Swedes and young players who put on a Canucks uniform. We thank you for your friendship, your leadership, and for helping us feel at home. On behalf of your former teammates, we congratulate you on such a well-deserved honor tonight. Uh, we also have a gift for you and Lotto. Next summer we'll be sending you to Paris to enjoy the French Open final and a private wine tour. So, Marcus, please join us. the sense he likes tennis. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, you have waited patiently, you've waited long enough. Let's hear from him. The man of the evening, Marcus Naslin. special it is to be back home here. <laughs> this is such an emotional night for me and my family to be reunited with so many good friends and to share this incredible honor with each of you. I want to start by thanking TC Collin, Karen Christensen, Kath Maroney, Jones Dobbs, and everyone that's worked so hard to make this such a special night. 
Thank you to the Aquilini family. I'm overwhelmed not only by the gifts and, and this whole night, but uh, this city is so fortunate to have local owners who are so committed to winning and giving back to this community. <laughs> the city has been blessed with strong ownership for so long. I also want to thank John McCaw and Arthur Griffiths for my time here. In addition to strong ownership, I was also very lucky to have great coaches and managers who believed in me. Thank you to Pat Quinn for bringing me to Vancouver in 96. <laughs> Brian Burke, Dave Nonis, Steve Tambellini, thank you for your loyalty and support. You guys provided me with an amazing opportunity. Mike Gillis, I don't know if I, if I said that I was going back four times, it sounds lots to me, but, but I want to thank you for, for your guidance and your friendship over the years, Mike. It feels like I'm turned backwards the whole time, but Elaine and your staff, Tom Rennie, and of course Mark Crawford and his staff, Thanks for giving us the freedom to be creative on the ice every night. The Canuck training staff, Patty O'Neill, Mike Bernstein, and the rest of my friends there, thanks for always treating me first class. <laughs> Young hockey players in Örvik in northern Sweden never dream of a night like this. I know I didn't. To have my number 19 retired here alongside Stan's number 12 and Trevor's number 12, uh, 16 is humbling. Stan and Trevor, both of you are class acts that represent the very best in the history of this organization. I'm proud to call you both my friends, and I want to thank you both for teaching me what it, what it means to be a true professional. <laughs> Trevor, I also never had a chance to, to give you a, a good message when you, yours went up, but I want to thank you for being such a great teammate for so many years. Thank you, Trevor. As I mentioned, young hockey players in Sweden never dream of a night like this. My goal from an early age was to play the game that I love and maybe, just maybe, play for my hometown team, Modo. I, I was lucky enough not only to make Modo and, and play with my good friend Peter Forsberg, but also get drafted by the Pittsburgh Penguins. I came over and I played with Lemieux, Jager, Francis as a young player and and it was almost overwhelming at the time. So I was very excited when I heard the news that I was going to Vancouver. Well, things didn't turn out much better initially. And after many nights sitting up in the press box as a healthy scratch, it seemed like the natural step was to move back and play in Sweden again. But I wasn't... I wasn't ready to give up my NHL dream though. I, I wanted to prove to myself and everyone else around me that I could play in this league. <laughs> to go from sitting up in the press box as a healthy scratch to be standing here tonight in front of all of you, it's quite amazing. And there's only one way that this kind of turnaround can happen, and that's by support from so many people. An honor such as this is only possible to great, thanks to great teammates. I share this moment with each of you, uh, <laughs> thank you, as a reflection of all your hard work over the years. Matthias, I'm so happy that you're here tonight.
We shared so many good times over the years, and I want to thank you for being an incredible teammate, but an even greater friend. Canuck fans were lucky that you played for the beloved team for so long. Brendan and Todd, what can I say? The years we spent playing together was the most fun I've had playing this game. Your talent, creativity, but most importantly, friendship made it exciting to come to the rink every night. Thank you, Brendan. I was fortunate to play with so many great teammates here in Vancouver. Playing on the West Coast, you spent a lot of time on the road, and I had great roommates that made it fun. Brad May, Trent Klatt, Andrew Castles, Brian Noonan made it fun every trip. I also had the privilege of playing with great people like Dan Kluthier, who's here tonight. Thanks, Dan. Adrian O'Coin, Willie Mitchell, Jurki Lume, Mark Messier, Ed Jovanovski, Matt Cook. Thank you for being great teammates. <laughs> to the current players, Sammy, Louie, Kesper, Eddie, and I probably missed a bunch too. It's exciting watching you guys play. You, you guys have a great thing going here and I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. Daniel and Henrik, wow. <laughs> our hometown of Evik and our hometown of Vancouver are both so lucky to have you. I remember you guys, I remember you guys as toddlers when, when we played on the outdoor rink back in Yerved and you guys were crawling on your knees. I know that makes me sound really old, but now look at you. You're among the absolute best in the world and it couldn't happen to two better people. Jerry Hindi, thanks for inviting me and Lada into your family my rookie year. Mike Simurda, Dave Campbell, Devin Smith, thanks for the great friendships over the years. <laughs> to all my Swedish friends that have traveled here tonight and my Canadian friends, thanks for all you meant to me throughout my career. My mother, father, and sister, thanks for the sacrifices you made when I was young. Without your support, this, would, this night would have never been have, uh, possible. And a special thank you to my dad who taught me to skate as a six-year-old when all I wanted to do was to quit. My wife, Lotta, thank you for your love, your friendship, and your commitment to me and my career. I love you. <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca, Isabella, Alex, I'm so proud to be your dad. You're the best thing that's ever happened to us. Finally, finally, to the amazing fans of this team. Thanks for everything you've given me during my time here. It was a privilege to play in front of you. This was our home for 12 years. This is where Lada and I raised our children, made many great friends, and loved calling home. The 12 years spent here were the 12 greatest of our lives. Your support is what's going to make winning a Stanley Cup in this city so special. <laughs> 
And I got a feeling it's going to happen very soon. Thank you for this great honor. Thank you for sharing this night with me and my family. I will never forget this. Thank you. You guys ready? It's time, Marcus. If we could get you and your family to just make your way over to the number 19 on the carpet there, you're going to want to face that way. It's time now for us to honor and to recognize Marcus Nazm with the highest recognition the Canucks could possibly bestow upon any player. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the number 19 of Marcus Naslin. It's a nice hat trick of humble heroes up there from the top of Sweden. The long sojourn to the rafters in Vancouver for Marcus Nazem.